Bill O'Reilly here, Thursday, June 16th, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening across our nation. The Feds raise interest rates to slow inflation. Adults take on more debt than any other time in history. Half the country says America has poor values. Most families will take a road trip this summer. Also ahead, will Hispanic voters abandon the Democratic Party? But first, the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates by three quarters of a point, the biggest increase since 1994. Economists hope the move will slow the rate of inflation by making money harder to get. Consumers now pay 9% more for goods and services than they did just one year ago. 9%. Said Fed Chairman Jerome Powell on avoiding a recession, quote, The events of the last few months have raised a degree of difficulty and created great challenges. Can we still do it? We just don't know. Unquote, not encouraging. Americans now carrying more debt than any other time in history. As of June, U.S. households owe $15 trillion to lenders, mostly from credit cards, loans, home mortgages. High prices coupled with shrinkflation pushing the actual rate of inflation close to 11%, which is a disaster for everybody. The average household spends $8,000 every year just on interest payments. Two-thirds of the entire American population live paycheck to paycheck. Survey from Gallup finds 50% of the public believe America has poor moral values. That's up 18 points since 2004. A third say our values are just fair. 78% think society is getting worse. Just 12% believe the culture is good. Folks blame the moral decay on lack of religion, poor parenting, the media, and a sense of entitlement. Less than 1% of voters think the USA is in, quote, excellent condition on the moral front. Cost of gasoline will not keep Americans trapped inside this summer. Poll from AAA shows 70% of families are planning a road trip in the months ahead. Biggest destinations, the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia, Red Rock Country, Arizona, Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Keys, Historic Route 66, and the number one destination for the car, California's Pacific Coast Highway, which I drove two weeks ago. Magnificent. In a moment, Hispanic voters, not happy. Right back. Supply chain issues have been a catalyst to bring high-tech manufacturing back to the USA. My tech guy, the founder of Brownstone Research, calls it the great recalibration and discusses it in his new newsletter, Near Future Report. For 35 years, Jeff Brown has helped his subscribers safely navigate volatile times to preserve and grow wealth. He also answers your most pressing questions like how to protect your retirement from inflation. What are the implications of a new digital currency and the Great Reset? What will the Fed do with interest rates? And what's going to happen in the stock market this year? Brownstone Research has been at the forefront of major market moves for 35 years. Let Jeff help you by signing up for his newsletter today at a 75% discount. A 12-month subscription, only $49. So please go to jeffbrowntech.com. 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 Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Will Hispanic voters turn on the Democratic Party? And the answer is yes. Historically, white liberals, African Americans, and Hispanics have voted largely for the Democratic Party. Is that changing? Well, in South Texas, Republican Myra Flores defeated Dan Sanchez Tuesday, the first time that redistricted place has voted for a Republican congressperson. So what does that tell you? Some stats. 19% of the U.S. population is Hispanic. That's about 62 million people. 11% of registered voters in America, Hispanic. Most are of Mexican ancestry, followed by Puerto Rican, then Cuban. 
Median income for Hispanic families, $55,000. That is $5,000 less than the national average. States with the biggest Latino population, New Mexico, 48%. California, 40%. Texas, 39%. Arizona, 31%. Nevada, 28%. Florida, 27 A June survey from Quinnipiac finds 26% of Hispanics approve of President Biden's performance, but 60% disapprove. 50% of those surveyed by Quinnipiac want Republicans to take control of Congress. Again, that is Hispanic voters. Why? Well, many Hispanics are hourly workers. So when inflation goes up, they get hurt the most. Hispanics are new to the USA, generally speaking. They haven't had time to build up financial reserve. The Biden failure on the economy is hurting them badly. They can feel it. So the Democratic Party can no longer count on the Hispanic vote. And that is a major political turn in America. Republicans should tell all working Americans, including, of course, Hispanics, exactly what the party will do to turn the economy around. Very specifically. But Republicans should be careful. They should actually target groups that they can persuade. Now, African Americans, they still are voting en bloc for the Democrats. You see that in Georgia. More than 90% of African Americans in Georgia are supporting an ultra-liberal senator, Warnock. But Hispanic Americans are not voting en bloc anymore, and they don't like what President Biden has done to the economy. So Republicans have to zero in on Hispanic concerns. And it would help if some of the television ads were done in Spanish. So summing up, the Democratic Party has a coalition. Liberal whites, they're going to stay Democrat. African Americans probably will. But this massive Hispanic vote will shift to the GOP, I predict, in November. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you'd like more honest news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com, and I hope you consider my number one best-selling book, Killing the Killers. In a moment, something you might not know. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years, interest rates rising, and a recession may loom. Our retirement accounts are in real danger, no doubt about it. If you want to protect your future, Please do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Plus, tell them O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Wow. So please don't wait. Call them now, 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. The heat wave currently baking parts of the country will go down as one of the most intense in history. From Anaheim to Atlanta, more than 90 million people saw the thermostat top 100 degrees recently. While that figure may seem extreme, it's actually normal for some Americans. Here are the hottest places in the USA. The top five begins with Brownsville, Texas, border town. Annual temperature, 80 degrees. That figure can spike to 115 in August. Next, Yuma, Arizona. The thermostat hovers around 81 degrees year-round. The city reports an annual rainfall of only five inches. The desert climate of Yuma is nearly identical to Baghdad, Iraq. 
110 degrees is common in southern Arizona in the summer. Number three, Miami, Florida, the only city in the continental USA with a tropical climate. Warm air from the Gulf creates a year-round temperature of 82 degrees. Since Europeans arrived in 1566, there has been only one report of snow. A few flakes fell on Miami in January 1977. The second spot goes to Las Vegas, the thermostat breaks 100 degrees in Vegas more than any other major city in America. The town also has the biggest temperature changes. On a day in August, Vegas can reach 110 degrees at noon and then fall to about 60 degrees by midnight. Wow. Finally, the hottest place in America, Death Valley, California. Summer temperatures in the town of Furnace Creek, aptly named, can crack 135 degrees Fahrenheit. That can kill you. The extreme heat is the result of the town's elevation 200 feet below sea level with an annual rainfall of less than an inch. And here's something else you might not know. Most Americans are not fond of heat. According to the latest polls, our favorite invention of the 20th century air conditioning. We spend $20 billion a year cooling our homes and businesses, but step outside the states, only 8% of the world population has AC. Back after this. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-1102. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-1102. That's 800-575-1102. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly, no spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. 